Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by the head boys basketball coach at Hudsonville High School. Of course, that's Eric Elliott. How's it going? Very good. Happy to be with you. All right. So I know you guys are just a week away from the season, but how excited are you? A um, lot, um, pro- a lot less practices, but overall, how 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 has it been so far this year? Well, it's it's definitely different. You take that week away, and it feels like uh, everything is compressed. Um, but obviously, everybody's in the same boat. So, well, you know, we're all going through it. Um, you know, we're we're super excited about our group. Uh, we're young. Um, but at the same time, we've got some experience back. So uh, we got some question marks with new guys, new faces, new players. Um, and we also know what we're going to get from some of our experienced guys. So it's a good mix and we're excited to get going. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, this is uh, let's talk about some of those guys that are returning and some of the guys to watch out for for uh, for the Eagles this year. OK, yeah. Um, as far as returning starters, yes, we. We've got Braden Shamray, who started at the point guard for us last year. Um, he's he's a junior, 6'2 junior. Played a little bit as a freshman towards the end of the year for us. Started all year last year. Um, has had an incredible summer as far as improvement, um, not only skill-wise, but just in body development. He's bigger, he's stronger, um, faster, all of that stuff. Um so we're super, super excited with where he's come from last year and um, interesting to see what he's going to be able to do. And then we've got Mason Dykstra. This He's a three-year varsity player. Um, he's an undersized post guy, uh, football player, um, but he's pretty clever in the paint. He's got great feet. He, he's a returning all-league player for us. Um, you know, so as far as returners that were – you know, expectations are, are there for those two. And then from there, we've got uh, Eli Vanderveen. He's also a returning starter at the center spot. Um, however, Eli has not practiced yet due to an a ankle injury. Um, so that's kind of a, um, oh, a tricky thing for us right now. He's tried to come back a couple times. And um, I think one practice, he lasted about a half hour before he tweaked it. And then he tried it again at our last scrimmage and tweaked it again. It swells up. Um, so we're going to see what happens there. And then we've got two other guys. Jonah Dennis is a junior, uh, started a handful of games last year at the small forward spot. And then Gibson heat heist started the last three or four games for us at the point guard spot. So that's what we've got returning as far as starters go or kind of starters go. Um, I, I can go further if you want me to. Yeah, why not? All right. And, uh, as far as reserves, uh, last year we had a freshman up and down with us, um, started the year with us, but then he got sick and spent about two or three weeks trying to figure out what was going on with him. It was a mono type thing. Uh, wasn't COVID, but kind of knocked him out physically. Um, so then he went and played some games with a JV, and then he came back up to us to finish the year. His name's Griffin Baker. Uh, he's a 6'2" um wing player good shooter good body rebounds really well for his size um beyond that we've got um uh let me see that's a sophomore we've got another junior that could potentially step into that eli vandeveen spot if he's not able to go his name is braylon mcfall braylon was about a 6'3 sophomore on our jv team last year he is now about 6'6 um very athletic he's long um, and has has greatly improved from last year. So we're, we're looking for big things from him. Um, we also have another sophomore up, Joey Miller, played on our, on our JV team last year. He's kind of a 6'3-ish, um, uh, very versatile player. He can shoot the three. He's got great feet, can play on the post, um, good with the basketball. Um you know, and then we've got some other guys, you know, that, that could get in there. We've got another senior, Jordan Vrugink, who's gained about 50 pounds in the last 14, 15 months, um, has really improved. And I, I think he's going to he's going to be a spark for us coming off the bench as well. Yeah. OK, so you kind of mentioned all the players that are coming back. So but where do you think your team is at right now? How do you think um, where do you how do you feel about your team going into 
um, just under a week before your first game. Well, I'm super excited. You know, we've got, I, I think I mentioned it, but we've got a great mix of ball handlers, shooters, um, not big, big size, but enough size to defend and rebound. Um, you know, so all phases of the game, I feel like we've got some, some talent there. Uh, you know, the question for us is going to be the defensive end of the floor and rebounding. Um, and, and, you know, there's probably a lot of coaches saying that, but if we can defend at a high level and if we can re, uh, rebound the basketball, uh, I think we're going to be able to put the ball in the, in the basket. And the other thing that I really like about this group is we're 10 deep. Um, you know, like I mentioned, Eli Vandeveen is out now. You know, there's always somebody that's going to be hurt or sick. And to be able to play 10 guys um, is – is a really comforting thing for a coach. You know, you got the flip side of it too, where you got 10, 10 guys expecting to get good minutes. You've got to kind of massage that as the year goes on, but um, I'd much rather have great depth than be thin. Yeah. Okay. So in your division of the OK conference, how do you think, uh, how do you think the division is going to play out? Oof. Um, you know, every year the OK red is, is really tough this year. I, I'm thinking it's going to be as tough as any of the other 14 years, 13 years I've been around. Um, Rockford has won the league the last two years, and and they've got a really, really good group coming back. Um, Grand Haven has some really good players coming back from a good team last year. East Kentwood has a new coach, um, a new player or two to go along with some really talented guard play from last year. Um, and then, you, you know, you work yourself right down the, the list and, um, you know, you can lose any night in the OK Red. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it's what kind of everyone's been saying, because, you know, I've been talking to coaches all across the state, um, you know, from the Lakes Valley Conference, to KLAA, you know, you got the OK Conference, of course, out in the out on the west side of the state, of course, the SEC as well. Just it just seems like the that basketball and, and really whether it's boys or whether it's girls, it's always going to be really competitive. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, it's, it's gotten more and more balanced. Um, and, and like I said, in, in the beginning, I, I'd rather have it that way to, you know, every, every night, you know, you're going to have a battle. Yeah. Um, you know, it makes it fun. Uh, you know, you got to prepare guys got to prepare, uh, you know, going into a game, knowing that you can lose every night just adds a little bit more to it. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about um, before we get into conference play, or or really the first kind of first slate of de games in December, kind of preview uh, what you guys got. As far as uh, who we're playing, yes. Okay, well before I do that, I got I made a mistake. I forgot to mention one of our uh, our up and coming uh, players. We've got a freshman on the team too. Oh. Uh, his name is Jovan Daniels. Uh, really, really skilled player and can score the ball he's he's kind of a mini Trey Young if you will he'll shoot it from 10 foot behind the arc um so we're we're excited to have him in the mix and he'll he'll definitely add something to the team too so I had to get that in before I, I moved on but as far as our schedule goes um yeah it's it's we don't have any off nights we open up uh well nine of our first 11 are away which is a challenge in itself um you know, so we, we start at East Grand Rapids, then we go to Grand Rapids Christian, then we go to Byron Center, and then we have our first home game against Unity. Um, you know, so out of the gate, four strong teams, three of the four on the road, um, and then and then we, we, we play in a neutral at Cornerstone, you know, in a neutral site in their holiday tournament. Um, we open with North Point Christian there, and then uh, the other two teams, if I'm remembering correctly, are Covenant Christian and Forest Hill Central. So uh, our pre-league schedule is is tough, to say the least. And then we get into OK Red play and it's it just goes up from there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of I just pulled up your schedule right now. I mean, it all starts uh, that that Tuesday, Friday slate. You got uh, Grand Haven at home at East Kentwood. Um, and then, uh, and then before, just before a big game with Rockford yeah. at home. And then of course, Caledonia as well. So you guys yeah. have got the tough road ahead of you in, in the OK conference. Um, um, what do you want to see out of these first few games from your team, uh, before we get to Christmas break and then heading into that really tough slate that I just mentioned? Well, I, I think it's going to start 
with mindset for us. Um, you know, we were really young last year. And, and I think we, you know, we had a good year. We surprised some teams. But I, I think where we were lacking is just um, a real gritty mindset, a mindset where you go in being focused on stopping teams and rebounding. So I want to start there. If, if, if we can develop that mindset early on to where, hey, we're, we're going to stop teams, we're going to re rebound the basketball, um, you know, the other stuff will kind of come. You know, I, we're executing all right even having only practiced a week and a half, um, that will only get better with repetition. Um, but it's that mindset. It's that toughness, that mental toughness, um, that grit, that grinding. Um, that's that's what we've got to get in place, you know, in that first two or three weeks of the season. Absolutely. All right. Well, Eric Elliott, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and best of luck to you guys this year. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.